Hello and welcome to Citizens Forum. It is Wednesday, September the 25th. I'd like to start by thanking our volunteer crew and the Shaw staff that makes this program happen every couple of weeks. My first guest is Mehdi Najari. We're going to start off by talking about the election. So, I mean, to me it's a nightmare, but here we go. J Jack, I've been only 32, 33 years in this country, and as an observer, I learned that uh, <clears throat> I don't take the elections very seriously. I learned that uh, it doesn't matter who we choose as a government, we more or less get, get the same policies, the same policies that support corporate agenda, and depends on who is in power, liberal, conservative, or NDP, in provincially, they threw some crumbs at us. Conservative less, liberal a little bit more, and NDP a little bit more. But their policies is, is to push the corporate agenda. And corporate, I agree 100%. And corporate dictates. So the function of the government, from my observation, is to manage the population, while they are implementing the dictate of the corporations. So who is the boss is the corporation. Who is controlling the politics in, Brit in Canada and British Columbia is the corporations. It's not us, the people. So there is a question about when we can say that there is a democracy. Let me give you some example. For example, the military budget. In, in, in 1996, 1997, it was around six to seven billion dollars. After Mr. Harper, it was uh, until 2015, it went up to 22, 23 billion dollars in a few years. And now, during the four years of liberal government, is up o over 32 billion dollars. Why do we need all this, this money to spend? when we don't have money to get rid of our poverty and homelessness. This is corporate agenda. This is what American, American uh, government, when they said their amb ambassador here, they say push Canada to increase their military budget. There are, there are other things like support for subsidies for oil industry. In 2011, IMF reported that there was $26 billion subsidy for the fossil fuel industry in Canada per in, year. In what year? In 2011. Um, in 2014, IMF reported $34 billion subsidy to, to fossil fuel industry. In I'll just say that the number we usually hear is three or four, but here's the International Monetary Fund, fund. who knows. Obviously, they're using different numbers than we're getting. $34 billion a year subsidy to the oil industry in, in Canada. In Canada. Tw 2016, not oil industry, but fossil fuel industry, including coal and others. T in 2016, it was $46 billion. So we, we see that when, in, when lib uh, conservative or liberal come to power, there is not much difference. NDP haven't, uh, was not in the federal uh, seen yet, was, uh, wasn't elected to become f f Canadian government. But in provincial scene, we know what NDP does. Let me give you some example of that. In Manitoba, they were 17 years in power. And during those 17 years, the child poverty in Manitoba was the worst in Canada and remained the worst after 17 years. This is NDP government that claimed that they are for the small, for the ordinary people. To, to remedy and relieve poverty. They and because the people at the top also owns the media, the story we get is not the truth, but it's the story they want us to have. But at the same time, in those 17 years, they instituted austerity program. Yes. They also give huge tax cut to corporations. The same time that we had that child poverty. In, in Alberta, Mr. Mrs. Nottis totally supported the oil industry, and, and give more subsidies to oil industry, you know, than, than, than the conservative before her. In British Columbia, we have John Horrigan government. Let's see what they did. Let's talk about the LNG. Seven, eight billion dollar tax write-off to make the energy, uh, LNG happening there, you know. And then 
They told us that they, we need site see them. That's another $15 billion or more that we have to pay. And, uh, and just recently, two, three weeks ago, we saw that Mr. Oregon and Mr. Trudeau got together and told us that the site C electricity will go to LNG to reduce their emission, to make it more acceptable. So we, the people, are paying $15 billion at, at least to sell, the, and the, the electricity that Site C produce, we have to pay more for it, but sell below the cost to LNG to make LNG look good. You know? And LNG is fracking, and um, so th the poisoning so of our water. So is that's north of $22 billion. Mr. And when it's come to the Trans Mountain Pipeline, Mr. Uh, Harper wanted to push it in, now we have uh, the guy that told us we, uh, government give permit, but the community give permission, and then suddenly the permission from community went, uh, uh, <laughs> went the, uh, ignored, yeah. and he buy the pipeline <laughs> for $4.5 billion. He want to spend another $8, $10 billion to build a, a pipeline, you know, and then Recently, in, in December, he gave $1.6 billion to the oil industry as a subsidy. I didn't even notice we that. Didn't, and also, there was $17.1 billion in November of last year to, the, to a tax write-off to, to all corporations. Nobody knows about this thing. But when, it's, when we come and talk about child poverty, they say, oh, we don't have the money. If we say about the free education, post-secondary post education, we don't have money. But we have all this money that you and me pay as a taxes to go to the pocket of corporations. And so I am saying we doesn't matter which one of these sets of stooges of corporation we choose as a government, we get the same result. This year, this election, we have a one possibility, a choice, that re possibility that we get a good government if we choose enough Green Party uh, MPs. Yes. Because their party is not, has not been totally controlled by corporation yet. We hope. It, it, yeah, it, it will be in, in near future, <laughs> but it's not yet because they never were, had a chance to yeah. be in the government. So this is a chance we have to choose differently this time. And maybe, maybe, crossing our finger to get a government with the, with the green as a, uh, in a minority government. And I would agree with you. I mean, I wouldn't vote liberal, I wouldn't vote conservative, I wouldn't vote NDP. So if I was going to vote, and I, I don't even know if I will, I would vote green for exactly that same reason. At least there's a hope that this is something new and we can hope for something, but who knows. <laughs>